Sir. FBI Director Womack. Director, be advised. 81. I say again. 81 civilians are under my control as of this moment. You are to take measures to assure this remains a need-to-know classified fact. Who is this? Mr. Director, you have a very serious problem. A battery of VX gas rockets is presently deployed to deliver a highly lethal strike on the population of the San Francisco Bay Area. I will call again at 100 hours to state my demands. I want to know who I'm talking to. This is Brigadier General Francis X. Hummel, United States Marine Corps from Alcatraz. Out. I'll cancel your reservations. Get the Pentagon and call the San Francisco office. It seems Alcatraz was just reopened. Last night, General Hummel, using brutal but non-lethal force under the guise of a security exercise, walked off with 15 VX poison gas rockets. He lost one of his own men in the process. General Hummel in Vietnam, I think he was a major at the time. Three tours in Vietnam, Panama, Grenada, Desert Storm, three Purple Hearts, two Silver Stars, and the Congressional Medal of Jesus. This man is a hero. Well, I think legend might be a better description, Mr. Sinclair. Well, now we can add kidnapping and extortion to his list of accolades. Mr. Sinclair, General Hummel is a man of honor. General, it's him. Frank! Sal Kramer. Hi, Al. How you doing? I don't know, Frank. Uh, why don't you tell me? Got a lot of very, very worried people here, Frank. I'll come straight to the point. 83 Force Reconnaissance Marines have died under my various commands. 47 in northern Laos and southern China. Southern China? We never admitted we sent troops into China. Who is this? Identify yourself. White House Chief of Staff Hayden Sinclair, General. How old are you, Chief of Staff Sinclair? I'm 33. Well, Mr. Sinclair, you've probably got no fucking idea what I'm talking about. By your ninth birthday, I was running black ops into China. My men were responsible for over 200 enemy kills. Now put some rigging tape over Mr. Sinclair's mouth. He's wasting my time. Uh, you want to continue, Frank? Remember Operation Desert Storm? The surgical hits made by our smart bombs covered so well on CNN? It was my men on the ground that made those hits possible by lazing the targets. Twenty of them were left to rot outside Baghdad after the conflict ended. No benefits were paid to their families. No medals conferred. These men died for their country and they weren't even given a goddamn military burial. The situation is unacceptable.